So last week, I warned you about AI creating AI with no humans in the loop. But it turns out I was understating how fast this is happening. Google just announced Alpha Evolve, an AI system that's finding mathematical solutions humans couldn't discover since the 1960s. It's optimizing Google's entire infrastructure, and it's even improving the core archite architecture of AI itself. Meanwhile, OpenAI's Sam Altman just revealed their timeline for AI domination, agents taking jobs this year, AI making scientific breakthroughs next year, and robots replacing human labor by 2027. This isn't science fiction, as I say a lot. The intelligence explosion has begun, and the window to position yourself is closing faster than anyone predicted. Next episode, we'll dive into what OpenAI insiders are calling the age of the agent orchestrator, where your value isn't knowing how to do something, but knowing how to make AI do it for pennies while everyone else hemorrhages cash paying us humans. The new di digital economy isn't replacing all jobs. It's creating a two-tier system of uh, puppet masters and those desperately trying not to become puppets. Your best bet? Learn to pull the strings before someone starts yanking yours. And please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up button as well so YouTube will help us get the message out to those smart enough to listen and prepare. And I also want to take a min minute to thank those who have taken the time to watch and also comment on these videos. 99% uh, of them have been uh, very uh, interesting and engaging. And I've enjoyed them. I've read them all. Uh, maybe about 1% are, are, are either kind of funny or uh, maybe uh, are attacking people. And I wish you wouldn't do that. Like I said, you can attack me. It doesn't bother me at all. But please be nice to each other if you, if you can. I had one, uh, one interesting comment that said these lights, my lighting is bisexual. And I'm not sure what that means. I've been keeping an eye on them. And... I haven't seen any changes. I haven't seen them getting close to each other or anything. I mean, uh, I'm bisexual without a doubt. You know, um, I said bye to sex a long time ago. <laughs> Too much work. Uh, no matter what they say about those blue pills, I can take a box of them getting personal now. Maybe it'd help if my wife was around. She's pretty hot. Maybe I'll try that next time. Anyway, getting back to it. Um, Let's start with Alpha Evolve. Alpha Evolve is a fundamental shift in how AI systems improve themselves. For 56 years, designing an algorithm with fewer than 49 multiplications was an open mathematical problem that human experts couldn't solve. Alpha Evolve, however, solved it in days. But that's just the beginning. Google has been using Alpha Evolve to optimize its vast data centers for over a year now. The result? It's continuously recovering 0.7% of Google's worldwide compute resources. Now, while that doesn't sound like much, but you've got to realize we're talking about Google's entire global infrastructure, one of the largest computing systems on the planet. Alpha Evolve is creating entirely new algorithms that human engineers couldn't even conceive of. The system can find solutions that are more elegant, more efficient, and completely beyond human understanding. Let me say that again. Completely beyond human understanding. It's not only faster than humans, it's AI doing work humans can't do. Uh, it's finding solutions we couldn't discover in half a century. And it's improving itself in the process. While it's working, it's improving itself. This is the definition of an intelligence explosion. Systems that get smarter, which makes them better at getting even smarter, and so on and so forth. Now let's look at what the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, just revealed about their AI timeline. In a recent talk at Sequoia Capital, he casually outlined exactly when different aspects of the AI revolution will, will unfold. So this year, he's saying the year of agents doing work not only assisting humans, but doing the work themselves. These AI agents will operate autonomously, making decisions and taking actions without human oversight. Next year, 2026, is when AI makes major scientific discoveries, generating genuinely new knowledge and breakthroughs that human scientists couldn't achieve. In 2027, that's when robots become serious economic creators of value. That's when the physical world merges with AI intelligence, robots with a dexterity and intelligence to replace human workers across all industries. This isn't some random prediction. This is coming from the CEO of the company building these systems. 
and his timeline isn't decades away, it's years, and in some cases, months. The most chilling part to me, this matches exactly uh, with what we're seeing from companies like Google with Alpha Evolve, and these aren't isolated developments. You know, you can't say, well, uh, th this isn't true, or I'm making this stuff up. You can go verify this stuff yourself. Um, just, just go to YouTube and verify most of it. Um, some of it is from uh, news feeds that I receive, but uh, all of it is, can, can be verified. Um, so they're part of a coordinated uh, uh, acceleration towards artificial general intelligence that's happening faster than almost anyone predicted. This week at an AI conference in Saudi Arabia, tech executives openly admitted their plans for mass job elimination. Marcel Clower, Clower, I'm not sure. Anyway, a major stakeholder and a major shareholder of T-Mobile explicitly stated they're eliminating all customer service to increase profits by $10 billion. $10 billion. Not reducing, not augmenting, eliminating. Entire departments of human workers gone. Alex Karp of Palantir described AI as a dangerous weapon that's not inherently good. That might be the understatement that he'd hear. This isn't some doom monger on YouTube saying this. It's the CEO of a company building AI systems for government and military applications. Saudi Arabia itself is building a $5 billion AI factory to become the inference capital of the world. Nations are competing to build AI infrastructure on a scale most people can't even comprehend. Multiple executives at this conference warned that companies that don't adapt AI fast enough will just simply disappear. The message is clear, automate or die. And for most workers, that means adapt or become economically irrelevant. While tech executives make these admissions, the real-world implementations are already happening. Walmart just announced they're preparing for AI shopping agents that will make purchases without human involvement, other than you saying, uh, check my uh, grocery list and, you know, fulfill it for me to your uh, main agent. And uh, that agent will either contact Walmart or will contact a group of agents or another agent, maybe called worker agents, that completes that task for you. Uh, these aren't theoretical concepts. They're being deployed right now. OpenAI's operator will soon be scanning the internet, comparing prices and making purchases automatically. No human required. This creates an entirely new dynamic. Instead of marketing to human shoppers, companies will need to market to AI systems. The human is removed from the equa equation entirely. Think about this: what this means for retail jobs, marketing positions, sales roles, entire categories of employment built around human purchasing decisions will be fundamentally transformed or eliminated. And this is just one example of how AI agents are replacing human decision-making. Similar transformations are happening across industries from finance to healthcare to legal services. Now let's connect all these dots and see the terrifying picture they form. We have Alpha Evolve creating better version of itself with zero human input. We have Absolute Zero, the Chinese model I talked about last week, generating its own training data, solving its own problems, and verifying its own work. We have Sam Altman laying out a timeline when AI agents do work, which is this year. Ne make uh, scientific breakthroughs next year and control physical robots by 2027. We have T-Mobile openly admitting they're uh, eliminating entire departments. We have Walmart preparing for AI shopping agents to make autonomous purchasing decisions. This is a closed loop of AI creation and improvement that's increasingly excludes human from the process entirely. AI systems are becoming better at creating better AI systems than human engineers are. And as this loop accelerates, the systems get more capable more quickly. What took decades of human research now takes days or hours of AI computation. And that pace is only increasing. This is what an intelligence explosion looks like, not some distant science fiction scenario, but something unfolding right now in real time across multiple industries and applications. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means the timeline per, for protecting your economic future is, again, like we say in every episode, it's compre compressing you know, rapidly. If you're in any job that involves uh, routine decision-making, data analysis, or research, uh, basic customer service, sales or marketing, administrative, uh, administrative support, your job is likely to be significantly transformed or eliminated within the next five years, not decades, years, and maybe sooner. 
The retail clerks and cashiers whose jobs were eliminated by automation in the 2010s, that same wave is now coming for white-collar knowledge worker jobs. Jobs that previously seemed safe because they required education, training, and specialized knowledge. The difference is that when a factory automated workers at least had, the workers at least had time to see it coming. This wave of AI job displacement will happen so quickly that millions of workers won't have time to adapt before their roles become obsolete. T-Mobile isn't planning to gradually reduce customer service staff. They're planning to eliminate those jobs entirely. Walmart isn't planning to slowly introduce AI shopping agents. They're already building the infrastructure for a world where AIs make purchasing decisions without humans. The window to prepare is closing, and it's closing faster than most people realize. Just when you think it can't get any more alarming, our old buddy, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, just dropped a bombshell that confirms everything I've been warning about. In a recent interview at TED, Schmidt explicitly stated that superintelligence, AI systems smarter than any human, is coming in about three to five years. Again, not decades, not centuries, three to five years. And this isn't coming from some random futurist. This is from the man who built Google into one of the most powerful technology companies on the planet. Schmidt warned that the race, is to, de the race to develop superintelligence, uh, ASI, could lead to conflicts between nations so severe that countries might resort to bombing data centers to prevent rivals from achieving AI dominance first. So forget nuclear plants. Next, they're going to start bombing data centers. So let that sink in. A former CEO of Google is warning about the possibility of physical warfare over AI development. And he's predicting this could happen within three to five years. Schmidt describes the arrival of superintelligence as the most important thing that's going to happen in about 500 years, maybe 1,000 years, in human society. This is a once-in-a-millennium transformation that's happening within the next five years, and we're here with a front-row seat to watch all of it. He warned that AI systems will create a million AI software programmers that don't need food, don't need sleep, and don't quit. And they'll be able to produce code faster and better than any human programmer. Schmidt predicts that this AI revolution will create something like a 30% increase in productivity per year. Think about that for a second. A 30% increase. Not 3%, not even 10%. 30% annual growth. For context, during the Industrial Revolution, one of the most transformative economic periods in human history, productivity grew about 2 to 3% per year. Schmidt is predicting 10 times that rate of change due to AI. Economists have no models for this level of productivity growth because it's unprecedented in human history. Our entire economic system is built around much slower rates of change that give workers and institutions time to adapt. This 30% annual productivity improvement will drive massive job displacement as companies implement AI systems to reduce costs and increase output. The economic incentives are simply too powerful to ignore. As Schmidt puts it bluntly, if you're not using this technology, you're not going to be relevant compared to your peer groups. Companies that don't adopt AI will be outcompeted. Workers, you don't need, if you don't adapt, you'll get left behind. So what should you do? Well, you need to position yourself again at the human AI boundary, the sweet step spot between AI and humans, the interface between these increasingly powerful systems and the humans they serve. This means get the AI certifications. I'll try to remember to link those below again. If not, they're in the previous uh, video. Uh, it's AWS, Google Cloud, Azure AI. These aren't optional anymore. They're your economic survival kit. Learn to think like an AI orchestrator. Practice breaking down tasks into components that AI can handle. Develop your skills in prompt engineering and AI workflow design. Build your value in human AI translation. Become the person who can understand both human needs and AI capabilities, translating between them to create valuable solutions. Focus on the uniquely human skills, creativity, empathy, complex problem solving, ethical judgment. These are the areas where humans will maintain, maintain advantages the longest. So start planning your economic transition now. Don't wait until your job is already eliminated. Begin learning these skills while you still have the security of employment. Remember what Schmidt said, if you're not using this technology, you're not going to be relevant. That applies to companies and individuals. The five-year countdown to superintelligence has begun. This isn't just about saving your job. It's about ensuring your economic relevance in a world that's about to change more dramatically than it has in centuries.
I'm not telling you this to scare you, though you should be scared, quite honestly. I'm telling you this so you can act. You know, we had some comments that I was fear-mongering and uh, shoveling fear porn, whatever that is. You know, again, people can have their opinions. That's fine with me. But again, look it up. You know, if you don't believe me, look it up. Uh, you know, and it's not coming from some uh, source, obscure source somewhere. And it's Sam Altman. It's Eric Schmidt. It's, it's the people in the know. And that's why I'm doing this, because I think you need to be in the know, too. The intelligence explosion has begun, and what you do in the next 12 to 24 months will determine whether you're riding the wave or drowning beneath it. Subscribe for more insights on navigating this AI revolution and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video on the age of the agent orchestrator. We're going to dive even deeper into exactly how to position yourself in this new economic reality. And remember, it's not AI itself that you need to worry about. It's the person next to you that can handle AI if you can't. So please, start right now. Start learning everything you can, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>